Once the chopper lump blank is rough bored to within 70 thousandths of an inch of the final internal bore diameter, the chamber end of the blank is short reamed. The throat section of the chamber reamer is tapered and will in turn cut a corresponding taper called the forcing cone inside the barrel. This forcing cone acts like a funnel that constricts the shot and wad into the bore. Gunsmiths often lengthen the forcing cone to reduce the felt recoil experienced by shooters. Like deep hole drilling, the lathe is run at low speed and a lubricated reamer is fed into the blank slowly to reduce the likelihood of it breaking. The reamer is withdrawn from the blank after only cutting a few thousandths of an inch of the chamber. The flutes are then cleaned off with kerosene. The forcing cone cut by the reamer is then used as the starting point for the backbore reamer, which will remove the tool marks left behind by the deep hole drilling. I made the long shank for the backbore reamer out of an old rifle barrel. The reamer is attached to the shank by a tension pin running through a hole in both the reamer and the shank. A lathe dog and feed block clamped around the shank will prevent the reamer from turning while it reams the bore. If the reamer happens to catch and turn while the bore is being reamed, the tension pin will shear off and prevent the reamer from breaking. Although I don't believe I've ever backboard a barrel blank where the reamer hasn't caught at least once and sheared the tension pin off.